Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Terracotta Warriors A new discovery has been made at the massive burial of China's first great emperor. In the mausoleum of Qin Shi Huang, even more terracotta warriors have been found belonging to his army of the afterlife. The terracotta army was created 2,200 years ago and was one of the greatest discoveries ever made. 100 years after the emperor's death, the tomb was lost until the 20th century. About 20 new warriors were just discovered inside the emperor's grave in Shanxi province. The new sculptures were found in pit number one, not far from the emperor's secret tomb. They were found in almost pristine condition and included statues of a general and middle-ranking army officers. In total, pit number one has over 6,000 pottery figures and horses, each one sculpted to be part of the emperor's terracotta army. This army is the only collection of military sculptures that was produced on such a grand scale. It's believed Qin Shi Huang, who was the first man to unify China under one rule, had an army of over 500,000 soldiers. Researchers also believe it took about 700,000 laborers, nearly four decades, to complete all the statues in the tomb. Although the warriors are now ancient and without color, it's believed they may have once been painted with exquisite detail. Some of them may have even been a bright red color, like an army of angry demons. As for why the warriors would have been painted red is a total mystery. The buried army faces east, ready for battle outside of the wall of the actual tomb. The emperor's final resting place itself has never been opened due to preservation concerns and the possibility of booby traps. Number 9. Egyptian Sarcophagus an exceptional new sarcophagus has just been unearthed in the desert sands near Cairo in Egypt. The coffin of Taim Wea was found in the megalithic Saqqara necropolis. It's been hidden underground, undisturbed in its burial chamber, for 3,000 years. Archaeologists have described the coffin as a dream discovery. Ola Elagizi, a professor of archaeology at Cairo University, is the one who uncovered the entrance to the tomb and then the burial chamber with the sarcophagus. Ola and her team first identified a vertical shaft in a courtyard in Saqqara, a clear indication of a tomb below. The shaft was roughly 24 feet deep, and it took a week of relentless work just to remove the sand using a bucket and rope. With the sand gone, Ola then used the same bucket and rope to be lowered into the tomb to see it for herself. According to what she told news sources, finding an unopened sarcophagus in its original tomb is exceptionally rare. Most of these tombs have been pillaged by grave robbers, and finding one without damage is like finding a needle in a haystack. We know who the sarcophagus belonged to because their name is carved into the giant granite lid. The inscription reads, Ta Emwia. He is described as the head of treasury for King Ramses II, who was arguably the greatest pharaoh in ancient Egyptian history. Ramses II ruled from 1279 to 1213 BC in the 19th dynasty, and Taim Wea was probably very close to him. On the lid of his sarcophagus was the emblem of the sky goddess Nut, her wings outstretched to protect the deceased. Number 8. Pure Gold Dozens of pure gold coins from about 1400 years ago have just been found in a secret stash spot. These incredibly valuable coins were found stuffed into the base of a wall at the Banias archaeological site in Israel. Researchers believe the 44 pieces of gold were hidden by the owner of the property in the moments before he or she fled. The owner was most likely hoping to come back for their treasure one day, but clearly never did. Archaeologists believe the treasure was buried in the year 635 AD. This was during the Muslim conquest of Israel, at the end of the Byzantine era when rapid global change was happening. The Islamic conquests were happening all over the Mediterranean, North Africa, and the Near East. The gold coins and the stash were minted about two decades before they were hidden. Some of the coins appear to be from the rule of Emperor Phocas, who ruled from 602 to 610. Some of the others were from his successor, Emperor Heraclius, who ruled from 610 to 641. Another interesting part of the discovery is that the town of Banyas is significant in the Bible. It was the place where Jesus told the Apostle Peter, On this rock I will build my church. Number 7. The Naga of Angkor A new treasure has been discovered in the famous Angkor complex at Siem Reap, Cambodia. 
A sandstone Naga's head was recently spotted near the Tep Pranam Temple inside the ancient city of Angkor Thom in the Angkor Archaeological Park. It all happened when a tree fell over, revealing the gigantic stone Naga hiding in its roots. Somehow the statue broke, the head of the frightening snake got buried underground, and the tree grew its roots around it. It was about three feet below the surface, tangled up in the roots like it was caught in an underground spider web. If you're not sure what a Naga is, let me quickly explain. The Naga is a divine race of half-human and half-serpent beings who live in the netherworld. They occasionally take human form. They have magical powers, and people in South Asia have worshipped them as supernatural deities for thousands of years. Depictions of Naga can be found in Hinduism, Buddhism, or Jainism. Researchers are now saying the Naga's head may have been built at the same time as the Bayan Temple 800 years ago. It was likely sculpted in the 12th century under the reign of Jayavarman VII. After the great city of Angkor was abandoned, many of the temples and structures fell into disrepair. The statue must have broken off and hit the ground, then was slowly absorbed and buried. And now for number 6. But first, I want to give a big shout out to Lashima Marshall and Prayer Abdiel. Thanks so much for watching and supporting Origins Explained. If you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the family. We'd love to have you. Number 6. Giant Hercules Statue Speaking of incredible statues, archaeologists in Greece have just uncovered what might be the most impressive statue of Hercules ever. The statue is about 2,000 years old and was found in the ancient city of Philippi in the north. The discovery was unveiled by the Greek Ministry of Culture and Sports and was hailed as larger than life. It was found smashed into pieces, but still in good condition. The pieces were able to be put back together for the most part, depicting a strong and youthful Hercules, who of course is one of the most famous heroes in mythology. This stone Hercules was originally sculpted holding a club, a wreath, and draped in lion skin. The statue itself was unearthed at an ancient intersection, a place where the avenues had been widened to make room for a square with a fountain and the statue. 2,000 years ago, any Roman wandering down the street would have been able to sit in the shade cast by the giant Hercules, wash their face in the fountain, and take a break before continuing on their way. Number 5. Mysterious Medieval Pub In Northern England, researchers believe they may have just found the remnants of a medieval pub. Archaeologist Emma Samuel says she and her team discovered a large number of pottery beakers and old jugs many of which seem to have held alcohol or other beverages. The beakers date back to around the 13th century, or roughly 800 years ago. Judging by the size of the collapsed structure, it was either a pub or a large house. It may have also been a kind of inn where travelers could rest on long journeys. In all likelihood, there would have been rooms in the building for weary wanderers to relax their bones, and they could have gone into the public room to order something to eat and drink. After all, pub is only a shortened form of public house, a place where people could eat, sleep, drink, and socialize. Emma and the other archaeologists also found carefully butchered sheep and cattle bones, suggesting a full dining experience. Number 4. Ancient Herders Camp In Iran, archaeologists recently discovered an ancient camp once occupied by a group of primitive herders. The camp was found at the top of a mountain during a survey project in Mausolée and dated to be 7,000 years old. The research team came across traces of late Neolithic activity about 8,000 feet above sea level. The camp was built near one of the tallest peaks in the Talesh Mountains and was likely used seasonally by prehistoric herders who tended large flocks of animals. The site is now the oldest of its kind found south of the Caspian Sea at such a high elevation and researchers are struggling to find out what it all means. The settlement seems to suggest the Neolithic herders favored the pastures of the mountaintops. The camp was made right around the time that hunting and gathering was slowly becoming obsolete. Human beings in Iran were no longer fully nomadic and had taken to tending animals rather than spending all their energy hunting them. This is called nomadic pastoralism and it was semi-nomadic in that the herders continuously moved their animals to greener pastures. They chased the seasons, and that way their herds could eat, and so could they. Number 3. Roman Zodiac Coin 
Archaeologists in Israel just found a bronze coin in a very unlikely place. It was discovered at the bottom of the sea, and it dates back to one of the best eras of the Roman Empire. On one side of the coin is Luna, the Roman goddess of the moon. This helped researchers date the coin at 1,850 years old, minted during the rule of Emperor Antoninus Pius. Antoninus ruled Rome between 138 and 161 AD during a surprisingly peaceful period in Europe. He came into power after Emperor Hadrian, who had tried to brutally subjugate the Jewish people and absorb the province of Judea. Hadrian was notorious for selling Jewish prisoners into slavery and forbidding the worship of Yahweh or reading the Torah. When Antoninus came into power, things greatly improved for the Jewish people. It took only about a year for him to abolish the laws that specifically targeted Jews. He was also unique in that he preferred to delegate rather than use force. He looked to local governors to solve issues instead of sending in the military. The coin isn't much to look at these days. It's turned green from centuries in the sea. Still, it's a reminder of one of the last peaceful eras in Rome, before things took a violent turn and stayed that way for centuries. Number 2. Mysterious Clay Tablet In Israel, a six-year-old boy named Imri Elia made a shocking archaeological discovery. He came across a mysterious clay tablet during a hike that was dated to be 3,500 years old. The ancient tablet shows a man, potentially a slave, and his captor. The boy was on a trip to the famous Tel Jemeh archaeological site in Israel's Negev desert with his parents when it happened. He picked up the small clay tablet from the ground, showed it to his parents, and they contacted the Israel Antiquities Authority. The artifact then changed hands and wound up in the National Treasures Department. Researchers believe they know exactly what the clay tablet is depicting. It appears to have come from the biblical Canaanite civilization. The captor is wearing clothes, while his captive subject is entirely naked. During the time when the tablet was made, around 1500 BC, the land of Canaan was ruled over by the Egyptians. This tablet most likely shows a Canaanite man and his Egyptian subjugator. Number 1. Ancient Taiwanese Skull In Taiwan, an archaeological research team discovered a skull and femur 6,000 years old. The bones were found hidden in the back of a dark and creepy cave high up in the mountains. The team believes the bones came from one of the first humans to ever inhabit Taiwan. This individual was on the island before the ancestors of the current inhabitants ever arrived. Stories passed down through generations for thousands of years describes an ancient tribe of extremely short people with dark skin who lived in mountainous parts of the island. This mysterious tribe was in Taiwan even when the modern ancestors of the Taiwanese people arrived. Some stories have the tribe being an enemy. Some say they were hermits and just wanted to keep to themselves. Even though these tales have been told for thousands of years, there has never been any physical evidence of a tribe in the mountains found. That is, until now. Researchers say the cranial morphometric study done on the remains proved that there was a group of primitive people living in Taiwan 6,000 years ago. These people were extremely small, only about 3 feet 9 inches tall. They possibly descended from an even older and more remote population of humans or hominids. They may be so ancient they weren't entirely homo sapiens. Unfortunately, it does not appear that any of their relatives have survived into modern times. Researchers have confirmed the existence of the ancient people, but they still don't know what happened to them. Legends say most of them were already gone when the Austronesian groups started arriving on the island. Other legends have it that the mountain people were viciously wiped out about 1,000 years ago. Thanks for watching! Which of these discoveries was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below and remember to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye!